back burning the midnight oil almost. Our final game is ready to go. Oh, wow. Onside kick recovered immediately. Don Leonard. Tri-State Colts in the blue with the gray trim, gray numbers, white trim, UTN championship. Uniforms looking good. Uh-oh. Deion Davison, number 21. Heck of a ball player. Don Leonard, woo! There is some hitting going on out there. C.J. Veal, one of my favorite players in the country, defensive MVP at the UTN All-American Games in June in Mobile. Listen. Ran a 4-6 at the Combine. Only one player was faster than him in the whole class of 2028 and the class of 2027. And that was class of 2028 running back Marcelo Jaramillo from Denver, Colorado. Shout out Maha Thoroughbreds 13U. Shout out Coach Dex 
and the squad. Direct snap, Leonard. Good play call. Leonard's a tough runner, man. I like him a lot. He was a big part of their team last year, but missed national championship. Bigger part of their unit this year, they lost Michael Lewis Jr., who's now with St. Louis Elite. He was MVP of the national championships. Great player. Shout out to Mike. UTN sponsored athlete. Deion Davison close to the goal line, but nothing sledding. Big Pedro Hosey, number 59. Jacaden McKellar. I used to get his name wrong. I used to butcher it. Another UTN All-American and also played great down there in Mobile. Combine as well was a combine warrior. Uh-oh. Encroachment defense. Oh, wow. That would be half the distance to the goal line. All right. Oh, man, the hard count backfired. False start against the Colts. Deion Davison, speed in the end zone. Colt strike first on top six to nothing. All right, two-point conversion upcoming. Up the middle. No good. Oh, my goodness, off the chest. Way to recover it, number nine. All right.
Chiefs in shotgun. Two by two set. Ball's on the ground. Recovered by the Tri-State Colts. Big 80. All right. Two turnovers in the first half. That is the story of what's going on with the Southeast Chiefs right now. Direct snap. Good run. Second and short, down. Tough runner. Tough football. I like the fluidity of the offensive line of the Colts. They asked them to do a lot of reach blocking so that their backs can get in space. They asked him to pull. They asked him to get out and also block linebackers and D-backs. They're very fluid. Our referees are going through it as well. Look out there, got the squat game on. He looks a little tired as well. Hopefully they can make it through. I guess they're asking Avon for tips how he does it all day long. Look, they had a powwow out there. <laughs> they all have to come to, to Jesus moment. <laughs> oh, man. Been a grueling day. Long, long lightning delay. Held us up a couple hours easily. I appreciate everybody staying with us. Making it through this rain delay so that we could get this day of football done. Way too many teams from out of town to cancel anything. That's what I told the referees. Man, I know it's going to be hard on you guys, but we got to get it done. Of the 30 teams we have, 24, 25 from out of state. And... It was just too important for us to get this football played. Here it goes. Woo! Got to tackle. A lot of arm tackling going on. Lot of arm tackling going on. Time out.
right, we back. He's trying to hit the edge. Flag on the play. What's he got holding or he got a face mask? Lefty, first thing. Yeah, that voice you hear, director, owner, Parks and Recreation, Scott Harrison, telling you about this two-year, 20-minute, 30-minute window to save our lives. But yet and still, here we are in the second quarter of our 13U game. Good throw, wide open. Don Leonard for the touchdown. The sophistication of the South, of the Tri-State Colts offense may be a little too much for the Southeast Chiefs. If body language is an indicator, Chiefs are looking semi-deflated on the sideline right now. Got to snap out of it, get some more energy. It is a long ball game left. Only... Down by two scores. I know they have high-powered offense, a lot of talent. Can't get in the end zone. But right now, Tri-State Colts defending national champs seem focused. Roll out wide open on the edge. That'll be two more for you. Colts offense looking high-powered up 14 to nothing. Coach Darion Gabriel has to get it together and fast. Jeez. Colts on top. Woo-wee, nothing sledding.
Ooh, he got it out of there. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Try the track meet continues. Great catch. Holding, though. So we will re-attempt. All right. Coast to try the extra point again. Direct snap. Bright spot <laughs> for the Southeast Chiefs. Always can't coach speed. Great pursuit on the backside tackler. He, he can play for me any day. I do love me some CJ Bill, man. Uh, but right now, twenty to nothing at the half. We'll be right back.
back. Start of our third quarter. Good kick. Oh, wow, he got a lane. Can he hit it? Cut back to the inside, should have stayed out. All right, Colts on top, big, 20 to nothing. We start our second half. Deion Davison, oh wow, good tackle. Oh, man. Pickup of about three for Deion Davidson. Don Leonard, Jeez Louise, punishing runner, man. I've always loved me some Don Leonard, man. I just last year I was very disappointed that they didn't make it to nationals last year. Although they did win, I I just thought it would have been a great opportunity. I know this year though, shouldering a little bit more of the load after losing Michael Lewis Jr. I know Don Leonard, if anybody, is motivated to have a breakout year this year. I'm six. He's going. If he gets to the edge, it's a good one. Oh, wow. Hey, listen, man. Last year we coined the phrase the tri-state track meet, and it continues. I swear Coach Daryl Anderson goes to the Junior Olympic track meets to recruit football players. Speed, speed, speed. Good push by Hosey. Good tackle by number seven. Chiefs aren't quitting, though. They're still fighting. Colts picked up some more size up front, though. They are bigger than last year. World-class tight end. Look at that block.
tough ball game. Wow. Young nephew Cameron Worthy. Hadn't seen him all day. I don't know where he been at. He must have just been chilling. Shout out to the good people at ESPN. Y'all trained me for these 14 and 16 hour days doing long film and television production. Woo! Number six is fast too, man. They're just, it's speed all over the place out here, man. Deion Davidson to the zone. Twenty six nothing. Colts on top. I think Tri State Colts are the only team that has never lost in a UTN event <laughs> at Coach Daryl Anderson is always confident in his Colts unit, and he's never been wrong on this side of the tracks. Short-handed and all, he'll never complain. He'll play with whoever he has, and great game today out of Tri-State. 26 to nothing. Colts on top big. Southeast Chiefs do have good experience on this team. This is a good learning lesson as well. No, they will be again trying to compete for a national championship. Being the best 13 you from that region, already had punched their ticket in Pittsburgh. So, Coach Darion Gabriel definitely came to get the work, but I'm sure they would love to get their hands on the Tri-State Colts again in December. Still a long season ahead. We'll get better as the year goes. But we shall see. Just waiting for December. Here they go. Now they're going to clear the game. Go on to the other side. It's over.
this man. Emotions, emotions, emotions. That is our contest. Coats on top, 26 to nothing. We'll be back tomorrow for the rest of our championship games and consolations. You guys have a good night.